300 subscribers. Actually, actually, fellas, 317 subscribers to be exact. As you can see, uh, this morning I checked my uh, subscriber uh, list and I'm, I, I checked my page and I'm like, holy cow. I've gotten 317 subscribers now. All this happened like during the weekend uh, because like on Friday I had like, I remember that was the last time I checked, I had like maybe 290 or 89 or something like that. Now I got 217. So I have a feeling all these subscribers came from my post fights because I got a bunch of views on like my post fights and uh on uh like on this troll video I made and stuff like that so yeah it's crazy how you could like upload a video it gets a bunch of views and then you get like a bunch of subscribers because like I said I've gotten maybe close to 30 subscribers maybe 26 27 in like two two days uh and I have a big feeling that came from uh, my post fights and uh, like this troll video that I made. And maybe even uh, my Hugie Fury video that I made. But yeah. Are you are you big channel scared? That's what I want to know. Are you big channel scared? Because you know I'm coming for you guys. I'm coming for you guys. I know I seem very small to a lot of you big channels. But I'm growing. You know it's, it's only been two months. Uh. If you guys are are new to my, if you are a new subscriber and you're watching this video, then you might not know I used to have another channel that uh, had a thousand subscribers, but because of copyright strikes, it got taken down. Uh, and about this happened like back in late September. And honestly, when it when it got taken down and it got terminated, I was gonna give up on uh, YouTube because I was like honestly disgusted and. A little annoyed we're well, actually very annoyed that it got turned down I mean you know terminated because I was doing that channel for like six months it was called McGregor and I was doing it for six months and it got terminated and it was all really down to me I don't blame anyone it was my fault but yeah but then in October I, I kind of like left YouTube for like a week and a half and in October I decided let me let me try this again and I started uploading in October and uh yeah, it's been about two months now, and uh, I've gotten 317 subscribers, almost a hundred thousand views. So uh, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty crazy how fast you can grow. You know, uh, when I first started YouTube in my original channel, I never thought that you could grow as fast as this. Like I used to think, uh, man, YouTube, there's so many people doing videos. Uh, why is anyone gonna watch me? But I guess it's because. Uh, the reason people grow fast is because on YouTube, especially on the boxing community, not just like the YTBC, LWG, just like the boxing community in general, the boxing community isn't that big. Like when you look at the boxing community, uh, you kind of know everyone, if you get what I'm saying. Like you kind of know everyone. Uh, even if you don't watch their videos, you've probably seen one of their videos before. You've probably seen them, you know. Uh, also, like when it comes to like even subscribers, like... I can't tell you how many times I go to somebody else's page and I'm reading their comments and like I'm on their video, right? And I'm reading their comments and I'm looking down and I'm scrolling th through the comments, right? And I see some of my subscribers commenting on their channel. Like I've been to, I, I, this, hap this literally happens on every boxing channel that I go see. I'll go, that I'm subscribed to and I, and I watch, right? I'll go, I watch his channel, I read the comments and I'm like, oh, look, a bunch of my people that are subscribed to me also I subscribe to this person because they also leave comments on this person's channel, you know? So that's how you know a community is very small. Uh, because a lot of, like like I said, a lot of us know who each other, you know. We don't know each other in real life, but like we know each other. If you're in the boxing, if you make videos in the boxing community on YouTube, you, you basically have probably seen this person before. Even if you don't like the channel, even if you're not subscribed to him, you've, you've probably seen him before. Just like, like I said, when it comes to subscribers, because the community is so small, a lot of the subscribers subscribe to the same people. So that's why you might go to my channel might see, and you might see some of my comments or you might go to the next guy's channel or even the next girl's channel and you know, you see uh, the comments 
and you'll see the same person who was like on my channel and another person's channel because since the community is so small, uh, you know, we find each other really quickly. So I think that's why uh, boxing channels tend to grow fast uh, because, or at least that's one uh, thing I, I believe because since it's so small, it's so easy to find. And one thing I noticed, like whenever I make like a post fight video, I get a bunch of views, like thousands of views. That's when you get like the most views. That's one thing I noticed, not just for me, but when it comes to like every channel, uh, like every, uh, like most boxing channels, when you look at most boxing channels, when they make a post fight video, they get the most views. Like they'll get 60,000 views. Like some of these big channels, you know, they get like, you know, like it's like boxing eagle. He'll get like 60,000 views on a post fight video, uh, because I guess at that very moment, the traffic is so like, it's so high for wanting to see that fight. Like for example, uh, like say the other weekend, the last weekend we had Regan now versus the Lomachenko. I got like 4,000 views on my post fight video, right? And then a bunch of other channels got a bunch of views. Some of them as much as me, some of them way more than me, especially the bigger channels. Uh, but it's because at the time, everyone, every boxing fan is going on YouTube searching, you know, uh, uh, Vasily Lomachenko versus uh, Gamma Ring, and I want to see, you know. Same thing happened in my post fight video of Anthony Joshua. Same thing happened in my post fight video of Deontay Wilder. So that's like one thing I noticed, like a trend I noticed. Whenever you p upload a uh, post fight video, you get a bunch of views. And then you get like a bunch of subscribers. Uh, and this will happen last, like, the, this other this past weekend like I've, I've gotten like I said almost 30 subscribers in like freaking two days which is awesome uh, so yeah for all my new subscribers if you subscribe to my channel I do appreciate it uh, really I appreciate it a, a lot uh, my goal is to like get back to where I was in my original channel like I said in my original channel uh, I had over a thousand subscribers uh, so I'm closer now. I I have 300, so I only have you know, a little under 700 to go to get back to my original 1000 subscribers. Uh but like I said, I've gotten 300 subscribers, 317 subscribers in 2 months. I've gotten almost 100,000 views in 2 months. So I'm happy with my progress, you know. You know, because again, I, when I first started YouTube, I, I thought maybe I'll be getting like, you know, three views per video. So it's nice when you see progress. It's nice when you see improvement uh, because it kind of motivates you, you know. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you weren't getting no views, you probably wouldn't even bother making videos because you wouldn't be motivated. But uh, it kind of motivates you to make more videos. It inspires, at least inspires me. So, uh yeah, I'm going to keep doing it. And by the way, guys, today I'm going to make several videos because uh, I have nothing to do today. And I want to talk boxing, you know, uh, for literally like maybe a couple of weeks. I wasn't as active as I normally have been in my channel because I've been uh, I haven't been really focusing on my channel, to be completely honest with you guys. But now I I really want to focus on my channel more because, you know, I want to build this channel and. The way to build it is you have to be consistent. That's just the major rule in, in YouTube. You have to be consistent and you have to constantly upload. And if you don't do that, you never grow. So I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to try to be as consistent as possible. And I'm going to be making several videos today. So again, thank you guys for subscribing. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, that's it. I'm out.